Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at an SAT work word problem. So we have Adam can build a treehouse in four hours. It takes John six hours to build the same treehouse. If Adam and John work together, how many hours will it take them to build a treehouse? So for this problem I like to make use of a chart of some sort. That is, we have Adam and we have John. And we know that Adam could build one treehouse, we'll abbreviate TR for treehouse. He could build one treehouse in four hours. And John could build one treehouse in six hours. Now, most students, their natural inclination is to say, well, if they work together, it would be an average of the time it takes them to build one. So it might take them five hours, but this intuition is not correct. We need to be careful when we do these problems. The strategy is getting their times to match. So what we need to do is to find the least common multiple of four and six. So on this side, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by three. And we have three tree houses in four times three, which is 12. So we have 12 hours. So just to interpret this, this tells us that Adam could build three tree houses in 12 hours, which makes sense if he could build one tree house in four hours. So now we do something similar for John, but we want this time to match. We want to match 12 hours. So we're going to multiply 6 by 2, and then we're going to do the same thing on the left-hand side. So this tells us that John could build two tree houses in 12 hours. So now what this just told us is now we know how they work together. If they worked together for 12 hours, Adam would build three tree houses and John would build two tree houses. So together, they could build three plus two or five tree houses in 12 hours. The reason we're not adding their times is because we have to think of, we have to interpret this logically. In 12 hours, Adam builds three tree houses. And in 12 hours, John builds two tree houses. Since they're both working at the same time, those 12 hours are going by together and not one after the other. So that's why we're not adding 12 hours in 12 hours. So we have they built five tree houses together in 12 hours. But what we're trying to answer is how many hours will it take them to build one tree house? So for this equation here, we're going to divide both sides by five because this tells us for five tree houses, but we only need one. So we divide the left hand side by five and the right hand side by five. So now we know that together they build one tree house in 12 over five hours. So now all we need to do is convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. So that together they build one tree house in, well five goes into 12 twice and has a remainder of two. So we have two and two fifths hours which we can match to answer choice B. So now let's consider another method for solving this problem. Let's focus now on a algebraic approach to solving this problem. So we let X equal the number of hours worked. So now we start by setting up the equation we have X over 4 where x over 4 represents the rate at which Adam works. For instance, if we look at this a little bit more in detail, if Adam works for 4 hours, he's built 4 divided by 4, or 1 house. If he works for 8 hours, then he's built 8 divided by 4 equals 2 houses, which makes sense because he built 1 tree house every 4 hours. And now we add this, or we add to this, x over 6 where x over 6 represents the part of a house that John builds for x hours. For instance, if 6 hours goes by, John builds 6 divided by 6, or 1 house. If 12 hours goes by, he's built 12 divided by 6, or 2 houses. So now when we combine these two expressions by addition, and we set them equal to 1, now by solving for x, we'll have found how many hours it will take the two of them working together to build one house. So now when we multiply both sides by 12, 
And the reason we're multiplying both sides by 12 is 12 is the least common multiple of 4 and 6. So what that accomplishes when we distribute, we have 12x over 4 plus 12x over 6 equals 12 times 1, which is 12. So now 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So now we have 3x plus 2x equals 12. Well, 3x plus 2x is 5x, so we have 5x equals 12. So now to solve for x, we divide both sides of this equation by 5. And now 5 divided by 5 will cancel, and we have x equals 12 fifths, which when we turn this into a mixed number, we have x equals 5 goes into 12 twice with the remainder of 2, so we have 2 and 2 fifths. So we arrive at the same answer using the algebraic method as well. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on an SAT work word problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.